Looks like we're good now. Right. I'm not sure what happened, but whatever is back up. Time to fight. It's over. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. We should start with the main gates and see where that gets us. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Let us pass! My children are starving! Have mercy! of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Blacklight burns. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. 
apologies. We'll show ourselves out. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. <laughs> we can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. <sighs> you mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense, even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. 
We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Ah, we'll show them the buck up. Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. Oh, don't I have that one? Yeah, just in case of my As you wish, my lord. No. Now that one I know I had upgraded. Regular battle chains I upgraded those too. No point in buying that. <clears throat> Desert Rose. Using craft man. Give me a few of these. Fifty. Will that be all? Oops. As you wish, my lord. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Ill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Party members, throughout the main scenario, Clive will also be joined by various companions who are keen to learn assistance, however... Will you shut up? Stupid search thing. Anyway. Yeah, so I gotta choose one? Or is it gonna automatic? I never... I didn't even notice that that was ever an option before, but I guess this is the first time I've come to this. Yeah, nothing says anything here. Let me see something. Um, you would think it would do it that way, but nope. Nope. Oh well. Doesn't matter then. Um, where am I going? Yeah, where are we going? 
There's no thing to there, is there? What? Why? So I gotta leave this area first. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Oh, so y'all just wanted to talk, huh? Yeah, that's all it is. Okay. Command, my lord. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicereen from the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds. A woman and a dog could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords we swear. Oh, oh. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Finish him. 
I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the Mark of the Guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord.
How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell, that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For well, better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have.
I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. But you've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. <laughs> She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others.
Kirby monster. Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sternest stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So... Dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. something I might assist you with, Clive? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. What subject shall we consider today? you today, Clive. All yours. Come again. I may have more for you. Let's get the Zerker ring. Ten 
temporarily increases attack proficiency <clears throat> with each proficient dodge. Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. Now, normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. Would you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Phil shut you up. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Now, every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now, piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady... Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. 
Happened across him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Okay, I look. Look, I don't get it. Why is it still here? I see that it is Karen Orvin, Westgate, Sam Baroque. Weird. Whatever, I'm just going to go there. But it. Here in Oregon again. Here. <clears throat> Sam Burke. Oh, uh, uh. Where is the spot I'm looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen Orman. West Gate. Sam Rock. So there's a West Gate. Oops. Wow, buddy. Da da da. Gotta be over here ish, I think. Alright, well, let's try and north reach and then go down that way. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. Just want to double check and make sure I'm going that way.
again. That should be the right way. Okay. Keep them pilgrims nice and chill. Look at this place. We spend time. So toward that thing over there, yeah. Let's go. Maybe it's over here. I'll go this clearing real quick though. Just to be sure.
finished. Not here either. Okay. This ain't Baywatch. It does say Baywatch. Let me see. I don't see Sam Borg. Maybe over here. That's not west, though, but... Yeah, let's try it. Guess I can go back on there. Let me see if I can look it up. Something's up. Um, it's called Blacksmith Blues. Let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 let's see. Griffin location, yada yada. Start on the hideaway, y'all. Mm hmm. So, your next destination is the hunt board, and most specifically, those are your room and treasures from the April Dew Ring, so the Red Challenge. It points you toward the Care Northern North Gate. North, sorry. Norvent, Norvent Westgate, which not a national location on the map. Ah, oh well, yeah. Instead, you need to head to the, the area marked on the map above. Blow this up. It's by the Care Norvent River Gate. As I pick up the wrong damn controller, like a dummy. Um, uh, where is that at? Like, their picture doesn't show the whole damn map like a bunch of idiots. Besides you, so what do you expect? Um, they show just the portion of where it's at. Also, they have a marker. I didn't give that for some reason. So let me head back to the ship.
I'm not sure what's up with this thing. I don't know why it didn't give me a marker. But I think it'll make things easier. I don't, I don't know what it gives me. I just would like for them to give me the marker. Because that would make it easier. Okay, so, <laughs> like, what do I have to do to to get these to open? Like, that one we just stumbled upon and had no, no issues. I don't get why you can't select them. Let me hit another button. <laughs> oh, that's closing. <laughs> Although that wasn't circling. I don't know. Maybe I, let me do this. I'll ask you, but I don't really care. I'll do that. I hit all the other options and see if that's what's the problem. Alright. Ask about Hans. That still stays up there? Ask about your adventures. I don't think so. Checked off now. So now, so let me select it. Oh, okay. Is there something I'm missing here? Just go away. Is there something? Do I gotta scroll down? I don't understand this and why it's being this way. Nothing to scroll. Whatever. And this IGN guy is retarded. I'm sorry, it's stupid. Thing saying don't. <sighs> That's why I go to Lost Wing Obelisk. Which one? This one here. And head to location. If this location didn't pop up, I think it's down here. Which is not care Norman, but I remember. Let's see if it pops up. If it doesn't, I'm just. Blah. Be upset. Now to get there. It's here. Uh huh. 
good at you as well. This way, right? And then you're gonna take, you know, start going right. Those make it right here. All right. So this is the part I want to make it right. All right. So I gotta go up here. I go to the spot that's not there and probably gonna call a stream and probably just do a recording of it because this makes no sense and I don't want to waste any more time on it. Just wanna make sure we're good. Yeah, and let's just follow the path straight pretty much. <clears throat> All this stuff is pretty weak, I think, if it didn't level up with me. Come on. Oh yeah, you gotta hold a gallop. Faster. Yeah, I did level up. So it's just oh, Don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Thanks, girl. Okay, cool. I'll just show up there, it's fine. I can't suck so Yeah. 
Oh, that's the secondary part of that attack. Level up coming up. There it is. What's up? Is something there, boy? Could that be our man? Are you all right? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Uh, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Alright. Let's go knock out the other one so we can get... Both of them. Let's see.
Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Ah, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, no, quick would have been there. Oh well. Stay sharp. After what they find it tomorrow. Go causing any trouble now. Fly Ambrosia. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. Or any worse, at least. Alright. To the hideaway. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely? You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. Some time later, it... I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. 
I'm uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. That's not going to mm. kill you or give you superpowers. Probably no in between. <coughs> yep. <coughs> Odin's teeth. What the salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. And, and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavors, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until the steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. Won't bleed. Oh, look. I have a hundred renown. Increase the... I'll take that, though. That's worth it, y'all. That's by 30. Because the other one was, what, 10? Yep. <sighs> that monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Cat. And with a bit of luck, Clyde might even find the geezer. Bloody busybodies, the both of you. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather-working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. I nah, wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Complete.
but okay. Drake Slayer's belt recipe on a lock. Design drafts. You have obtained the design draft for the Drake Slayer's belt. Design drafts unlock new crafting options with the black hammer. This is black for one and idle for details on materials and fighting. Yes. Back here, yeah. What's we'll that for, India? Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Hold on. You need the fuck Electro. Damn, that's a. It's way higher than everything else. Holy crap. Hello. No, stay on there and then. Electro. Where do you find that at? It's marked by a monster? A sign? Not even the bracelets too. Genesis Moss. Looks like it's the same monster. At least other pictures the same. I don't know if it means anything. Kinda want to find out now. First purple piece of armor gear. And is it? I don't know if there's any way to look that up. Anyway. I'm gonna talk to uh, Vivian, and then I'm gonna call it there. Take a break. Probably get back on later. I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. We'll see. Don't know if I'll be straight. Oh, I gotta finish my game pass game of the week. I ain't started it yet, so <laughs> usually today's the day I do it. Anyway, I'll get that on that later. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The Mother Crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. That's why they weren't mentioned before. As you know, do the Iron Kingdom cool. rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island, and with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent. 
making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria, sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then, thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. I'll talk to Jill first. Then get out. It will be over soon. You ready? I think so. Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the crystalline orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. guys that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed my name is legend greenness tribe greenness and everything you guys do i'll catch you guys next time